So this is an example that I thought was really fun um, because there's so many logical errors in this in this way of uh, solving a problem. And it tells me that a car has internal volume of 12,000 liters. Now that is a pretty big car. So here's the big car and that's tiny little me. And it says that I'm gonna drive my car into a river. No explanation why I wanna drive it into the river. And then it tells me it implodes. And we know that if something implodes, that means that the outside pressure must be so, so dense uh, and so much high pressure that it actually makes the, the walls of the car just cave. So I don't know if this is a river of very, very dense water or if it's like a river rock or something, but somehow um, this very huge car, trailer, truck-ish um, implodes when I drive it into a river. So I gotta take the information I have in this text. 12,000 liters, one atmosphere, and then it changed to 1.4 atmosphere. So this is a law that I need to use. We're doing Boyle's law here. And since we have pressure and volume in the information here, and it tells me that I need to use Boyle's law, which has pressure and volume, because that is the information I have. I have the information pressure and volume. So I just have to put the information in here. So I know that the initial pressure is 12,000 liters. And initial, no, initial pressure, sorry, is one atom per and the volume is 12,000 liters. And I know that after my car implodes in the river, um, it turns into 1.4 atmosphere. So, of course, when it implodes, um, the car slash truck is going to have less volume. And so the air in there is going to be more dense. Uh, but I don't know how much. So that, that's my X. And this is algebra. I need to just do basic algebra here. So let's just put one atmosphere here. 12,000 liters equals 1.4 atmosphere and my x solve it on x so algebra i just need to get my x alone on one side i can multiply and i can divide that is the way to solve algebra so if i need to get rid of something on one side to isolate my x I need to remember to do the same thing on both sides. So if I divide by 1.4 atmosphere on both, on both, <clears throat> both sides, I can take out. If, if I have something that's the same over and under the division line, I can just scratch it out. So I'm going to end up with my X alone. And uh, I just have to take out my calculator and solve this. So I have atmosphere here and here. I can just cross that out. One times 12,000 is 12,000. I have to divide it by 1.4. And I'm going to end up with X equal 850, no, 8,571.4 liters, which makes sense because if something is getting more dense, if this truck implodes, I'm going to end up with uh, less volume. So 12,000 liters went to 8,571.4 liters, and it makes sense. And also since the 
I carried all of my units all the way. I know that I haven't done anything wrong. I ended up with leader, which I should do because my answer is volume. So again, you solve this on X. You have to do algebra. Put in the information that you have in Boyle's Law and then just do algebra, solve it on X. Um, if I divide on one side, I have to do it on the other. If I multiply on one side, I have to multiply it on, on the other. So uh, just make sure that you isolate X on one side because you're solving it on X.